Okay, so this is mirroring in Maya, guys. Uh, one side to the other. There's no perfect solution, but I'll show you the way that I prefer first of all, and then show you the others. So the way that I prefer is the mirror me script off the internet, and I'm just gonna transform one of these sides and undo that. We're just gonna create a little different, a different topology in that model just for this example, and then we'll run the script and it will mirror from that side to that side instantly and update so you can continue to, to do your thing. Uh, model, maybe we could grab that, weld it, grab that there and extrude it out just like that and we can run the script again and it will mirror from this side to that side perfectly. So that's the mirror me script. Uh, this is it. If I bring up its options box, it's a nice little window. We've got a whole bunch of options here to change which directions it's going. So we're going negative x, which means that way to that side. But we could change that around and now it will go the other way if we hit apply. Sorry. Hit apply. It will go from that way to that way. Delete history and things like that. So that mirror me is the easiest way to do it. So you can download that. Now, other ways. So the way that we, uh, another interesting thing that we can do is, uh, just a couple of things about the mirror me, sorry. Make sure your points are all exactly mirrored down the center of your object. So the way to do that, otherwise you will get effects like this. So if we do that, you can miss that because I've moved that vertice off center. So just keep that in mind. If we move it the other way, you'll see the problem that we have creates a hole going from that side back again. Uh, so just be careful about that. Now, um, a little trick to keep all these centered down the middle is just to select them. Make sure you are in absolute transform mode and hit zero. And that's the way to get those vertices centered. And now our script will continue to work fine from there. So that's good. Okay, so the second way of doing things uh, is what I've mapped to a hotkey, and that hotkey is M. So the first one I've mapped to Shift M for those that are using my hotkeys, Shift M for Mirror Me. Um, and then the second one is Alt M, and this just simply switches on the, uh, the mirror mode, the reflection mode. So usually we're moving points around like this. If we hit Alt M, now we're mirroring, and we can grab anything, and it will mirror. Uh, in real time. The downside of this is it won't propagate any sorts of topology changes. So once we've got topology changes, uh, you can see there's no mirroring occurring. So we've got to run our mirror me script to fix that. So between the mirror me script and the reflection mode, we're in a pretty good place. So again, the mirror me mo the reflection mode is this one. Now to find that through the menus, it's built into Maya. It's just this reflection mode here so there's all the settings for that we double click on the move tool okay so a couple of other things now the mirror me script does not work if you have objects that you wish to mirror across uh, a junction like this so I should get a script for this too I'm sure there's plenty around uh, I just haven't been organized um, what we do is we get our object we group it and then we duplicate it and then we negative scale it by negative one and that's a way of mirroring objects uh, across a border like eyes or um, hands that are just floating and things like that. So that's grouping and negative scaling. Pretty easy to do. I've gotten into the habit of just doing it the manual way, but uh, a script would be handy mapped to a hotkey. Now, the downside of that, of course, is as soon as we start tweaking one side, we're not going to be tweaking the other side. So there's a slight variation of that where we can uh, go into uh, instance mode. Okay, so the instance mode method is we select our object, we group it, so the pivot point is in the center, and then what we need to do is we need to go up to our edit menu, down to duplicate special, so duplicate special, and we'll be instancing this negatively, so I'm going to reset the settings, we go to insert instance, because we're instancing our object, and we come down to our scale, and we go negative one, and then we hit apply, and that will instance that way. So this is a way that's pretty good. So you'll see when I select one object, it's selecting both objects because that one is actually an instance of this object. So we can now grab that object and move its vertices. In fact, we can do whatever we want to that object and that will be replicated 
over the other side. So a lot of people use this for modeling characters and things like that. Downside is there's a seam down the middle of your object. Now there is a technique that is used to, that can merge all those automatically and smooth them, but it's highly buggy and I don't recommend it. So this is kind of good if you just got objects that are separate. I wouldn't use it for a single piece character. Uh, I also generally don't tend to use many instanced objects because they're a bit weird not having their own space. I usually just like to do it once and then keep mirroring over. But there is that method and you can obviously map that to a hotkey with a script as well. Okay, so new in Maya, we now have uh, the the hotkey, the, sorry, the, the toolbox, the toolkit uh, that's come in. And this is quite handy. It's pretty easy to use. Uh, the downside of this one is that it really only works. I'm just going to put some things in here, some subdivisions. Uh, the downside of the toolkit is unfortunately it really only works with the toolkit modeling tool. So if you're happy to model only with the toolkit modeling tools, then you're fine with this one, but uh, unfortunately it doesn't work with my regular modeling tools. So it's very easy, we just select an edge and all we have to do is hit the symmetry button. So that will symmetrize it. Make sure we've activated the, the toolkit first. So select the edge, there it is. Just hit symmetry. There we go, we've got that symmetry happening. So now when we come in here to vertex mode and stuff like that, you'll see that we've got our symmetry mode all happening. Uh, actually, and it doesn't seem to work in that mode, so it's not perfect, but it certainly will work when we've got our cutting tools sort of starting to happen, so we can cut in and do different things. And you'll see that that's uh, the way that that does that. So the symmetry one is to select the middle edge and then hit the symmetry button and that will set all that up for us. So I think that's about it uh, in Maya. There's also, of course, uh, these mirror in the in the modeling menu. There's some mirror tools in there somewhere, uh, which are really this mirror geometry tool, which is really a pretty rubbish one. You can have a play around with that yourself, but I found it to be of little use um, unless you're really doing specific things. So by far, the mirror me script, guys, that's the one that we can be using nice and easy. We can grab those guys out there and uh, take that symmetry mode off here. We can move our vertices around. We can cut into our me mesh and just at any stage, we just hit the one hotkey and it will mirrors it across. That by far is the best workflow with a bit of the, uh, the reflection mode if you need to tweak things is quite all right too. And that also works with, bring down my radius on this huge, uh, Soft select, that also works with soft select too. So there you go guys, that's mirroring in Maya. I hope that helps you guys out.